via DKN. Today, my guest is the mayor of Charlotte, Mr. Garland Breeden. Garland took over as mayor last year as Mr. Bill Davis, who had been the mayor for a really long time, decided to retire. Um, well, first off, uh, appreciate you coming in this morning and, and being on the show, Mr. Breeden. Thanks again for the opportunity. Uh, my name is Garland Breeden. Uh, I was raised and grew up in the little town of Charlotte. I uh, went to school, uh, Charlotte Elementary and Charlotte Junior High, and then attended Dixon County Senior High and graduated from there in 1978. Uh, after that, um, I met my wife, uh, Connie. Uh, and we were married in 1982 and been, been married ever since. We have two wonderful children and we've got two great grandchildren, or two grandchildren, I should say. Uh, but I began after my education working at the local grocery store, what is now Murphy CB. And I worked there a few years and then I went to work in 1988 uh, for the, Dix the Dixon Electric System. And I worked my way up there into management uh, position where I was manager over the entire metering department for the last eight years up until uh, in which I retired. So I spent 33 years and about four months working at that job and it was uh, certainly a wonderful job I enjoyed it because a lot of it was outside and and then some of it was inside work and and I'm one that likes to uh, to see different scenery from time to time and and if, if you're not aware of it Dixon Electric System serves over seven counties uh, basically not the entire counties but uh, par partial counties uh, parts of uh, seven counties so you you never were really working in the same spot you were you were out in different areas different uh, different times of the month and and I really enjoyed that and during that entire time I was also uh, a minister and I preached uh, and helped and worked with three of the churches here located in Dixon County and I have retired from that after 36 years of preaching, but I still am an active member uh, in the church and, and work in the community, helping others when, when the, they need it. Uh, if you don't mind, tell, tell me just a little bit about what it was like growing up in Charlotte um, and, and kind of the changes that have happened from, from the early days to now, because it's, it's still relatively rural, but it is growing. Right. Uh, yeah, being a, a small child in the in the 60s uh, in the early 70s uh, I would always tell people when we went to school we lived so close to the school which we were about a fourth of a mile away uh, we couldn't ride the school bus we had to walk and uh, but that was okay because there were probably six or eight of us around the same age and we met every morning and headed out to school and then when school was out we headed back home so it it was you know it was really nice living in that time and on the weekends um, we didn't get to uh, come to Dixon that often but uh, when we did it, it certainly was a, a pleasure and a, and a joy to to get out and, and be able to come down to downtown Dixon but most of the time uh, us boys uh, spent our time riding our bicycles uh, down on the square and then back home we enjoyed playing baseball in the summer uh, football in the fall basketball uh, matter of fact uh, the house that i grew up in which is right now beside the house i live in uh, i had the the community basketball court uh, i had a neighbor that uh, uh, was a, a pipe fitter and he put together a a really good gold post and, and gold for me and he sit it out there and we would have kids all over the community coming and and playing and sometimes we would play on up into the night so it was it was certainly a a, a good time uh, growing up there I, I enjoyed it and so much so that I've never <laughs> left so uh, I, I really like the small town atmosphere and, and yes it has uh, started to grow but you know everything and everywhere else he is growing as well so you know we we've got to to you know try to keep the small town 
atmosphere, but in in the same time, we've got to look at at uh, the growth that's taking taking place now. And, and of course, I'm I'm for it. I mean, I I enjoy seeing the new businesses that that have recently come into the town that that is starting to, to draw others from other counties uh, there. So. That gives them the the opportunity to see the the small town, small historic towns, especially if they um, travel down and and drive around the square. You know, they see the oldest courthouse that's still in operation in in the state of Tennessee. They they see the um, the courthouse that was built uh, to replace a lot of the offices in the old courthouse, and now they can even see a uh, beautiful building called the justice center and i mean and if you ask me probably 15 20 30 years ago if i'd ever thought something like that would be in charlotte i'd say no but it certainly has added uh you know to the beauty of of the small town uh, the historic small town uh you know really now charlotte has uh a great ball field baseball field you know for for the kids to play baseball in the summer and that and that's a great thing i played baseball from the time i was eight years old till i was 18 and so i'm not trying to take away from that but i'd like to see some other things in the city that other children that don't play baseball or softball can do so you know one of the ideas that i have is maybe putting in a little park uh, with recreational facilities there for kids to climb and swing and slide and, and just whatever they enjoy doing and you know and and I'm not um, opposed I mean I, I never thought that it would be that much fun but to see these water splash pads go in how much kids enjoy mm -hmm. that and and I'm not opposed you know and would like to see something like that in our city uh, and I know that, you know, in White Bluff and, and the city of Dixon have, have built uh, skateboard parks. You know, we've got skateboarders in Charlotte. We see them all the time. And, you know, just to provide, you know, activities for, for those children that, you know, and not only children, but young adults and, and us older adults as well. You know, just a place to go and, and just relax and, and, and watch our children have fun. Because, I mean, like I said, Charlotte's growing. It's not growing fast, not like Dixon or Nashville or any place like that, but it is growing. And, you know, like there's the Country View Market. There's a, another little business down there right at the three-way stop called Sweet Charlotte's. You know, if you drive by there uh, most any day or especially on the weekends, you're going to see most of the cars are coming from out of the county and doing business there and so if we can continue to have some attractions you know there in town maybe it'll draw a few more what what might be some potential problems down the road that we might face out there in charlotte the only really the only thing that has really bothered me is is litter uh you can't drive well you can't drive down any city street or county road and there not be litter so you know one of the things that that i want to try to do is is to encourage people let's keep the town clean you know if you see a piece of litter in the ditch in front of your yard pick it up throw it away i know and i guess the one that has really given me the idea of this is my son and so one day he he called and he said i want to go by on the roadside and let's pick up litter and i said okay no problem so we went and got garbage bags. He lives about a mile east of the three-way stop. So we headed down Spring Street, it's called, but we always called it Highway 49 East going toward Ashland City. So he and I started at his driveway and we both walked toward Charlotte, toward downtown. We picked up 13 bags of litter. Wow. And you know, and then I know that it's an ongoing thing because, like I said, you've got all these people now coming in uh, to visit Country View, Sweet Charlotte's. You know, I, I want it to look nice. You know, I want the town to, you know, it's a safe, it's a healthy place. You know, it's been that way my entire life. I want to see it stay that way. So let's, let's help keep it clean, you know, for, for those people that are coming in here from, from other counties and, and other states. 
and you know doing business with us bringing business to charlotte which in turns helps charlotte we're going to take a short break we'll be right back here 